So hey guys, um, I don't know about you, but I've been staying indoors and trying to do the social distancing thing, um, just so we can all stay safe, but uh, what do we do? I wonder if I have any old gear I could play around with. No, 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 no. Let's check down here. God, what is this? Promising. No. It's back here. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Hey, Kami, what are you working on while we wait out the quarantine? All right, what do we got? This is my old high school photography bag when I used to shoot film. All right. Looks like we got a 50 mil old Nikon, prime lens. These guys are bad though. Ooh, what's this guy? Little 70 to 28 mil, F3.5, 4.5. I wonder what this guy can do. It's pretty sweet. Hmm, what can I do with this? Okay, well, I got the F to Z adapter, so I could put that on my Z6. And then I've got this, the 24 to 70 F4 for the Z series that I've just never used. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know, don't like it that much. I should probably sell it. But it's pretty much the same specs as this. I wonder, should we have them battle? I think we should. Sorry about that, it got a little bit hectic. I hope you enjoyed it though. Um, in all seriousness, I went to the coast yesterday and I shot a sequence with both of these lenses in a state park um, to compare and contrast and highlight different aspects of both of them. So I shot those completely handheld and manual. The footage I'm about to show you is completely raw um, in terms of I didn't edit it, there's no LUTs on it, I only added speed ramps for composition's sake. Let's watch the clips and then we'll compare and contrast the different aspects of these lenses. What do you guys think? Uh, I thought they were really fun. They were fun to film. It was hard to move back and forth between two lenses that aren't even from the same century and uh, deal with all of their quirks. So let's jump into the review. In terms of the Nikon, I really liked shooting with this despite my misgivings about it in the past. 
it was really nice to have a really heavy lens to do all those smooth camera transitions. Having more weight just makes it easier. One of the things that I really like about the Z system is the manual focus assist. Paired with the Z lenses, it's really, really nice. And it just makes working and manual focus just so much easier. The thing that I discovered that I really like about shooting manual video is that I really like this small focus ring. On the 85, which is mainly where I've shot manual focus, it's just so big. It's just like a log. Like having to avoid touching this gigantic wheel is really frustrating. Whereas on this 24 to 70, it's so nice and small. It's very precise feeling on how it turns. And I really, really enjoyed shooting with it. Now, one of the things that was my least favorite about this and is probably why I stopped shooting with this lens in the first place is how sharp and how bright and kind of washed out it feels. I think you notice that in the footage, it's just kind of harsh. That's kind of just how I feel it captures the light. And I think lenses all have different characters and I just kind of moved away from the character that I got from that lens. Kind of opposite to the Nikon is the Tamron, which just has tons of character. It has an amazing vintage feel. I really loved all of the kind of softness and the little bits of chromatic aberration and the lens flare, especially around the tower. Um, that was really nice. And when I'm sitting on the rocks, it just made it look like I had done a bunch of effects on it, but that was all in camera. And so I think that's one of the reasons that shooting with vintage lenses is awesome, is you get effects that you wouldn't otherwise get, and you don't have to do them in post, so you're not warping your footage more. It's just coming to you straight through the camera. Now, obviously, it's not as well built as the Z series lenses. It feels kind of plasticky. The manual focus wheel just kind of, it, I think it only turns about a quarter of the way so getting focus is actually pretty hard but overall i think the benefits of having a cheap lens that gives you a vintage look like cannot be outweighed so thank you guys for watching i really enjoyed making this video if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel I'll have more stuff coming out shortly while we're all hunkered down. I hope you guys are staying safe, be well, and I will see you next time.